but a 13 year old becomes the first player to beat Tetris. Los Angeles, January 3rd. A 13 year old American is the first person ever to beat Tetris, forcing the more than a decade old classic Nintendo video game into a kill screen. Wills Gibson, who goes by the streamer name Blue Scooty, said please crash as he arranged the puzzles and pe puzzle pieces cascading down the screen and moments later he got his wish when the game froze, leading him, him to repeating... Okay, well, why don't we just take a look at the clip itself. Um, is there anything interesting here? Uh, nobody cares this is about the CEO of Classic Tetris. Willis employs a rolling controller technique popularized in 2021 that allowed the player to manipulate the directional D-pad, directional pad or D-pad at least 20 times per second to move the blocks far more previously popular hyper tapping. So these guys basically they just hold the controller in a very specific way and they use it to tap the buttons really really fast. Uh, it's because Tetris everybody knows that the pieces fall down from this. I thought sorry I thought my table was rumbling there. But it's not. It's a muscle in my arm that was twitching. What the heck? I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> it's nuts. The rolling on a controller. Yeah, we can pull it up here too. We actually have video footage of it, which is very weird that they didn't throw it in article. Tetris beaten. Where's the clip? CBC News will give it to the... Actually, no, we won't. Fuck you, CBC News. Get the fuck out of my YouTube feed. I just realized I'm not going to go through that. That is the Canadian government injecting its shit into my freaking feed. Screw you, Canadian government. Blue Scooty. Yes. Why would I go watch a news article that's trying to pull my views because it's Canadian? Where is it? Where's the clip? Please crash. Please crash. There we go. It's got to be close. Getting soon. There we go. <gasps> So for those not too familiar why he's freaking out so much, um, getting to the level that he's at in Tetris, you can see the top score is 99999. He's basically looped the game into a glitch state. And there are like, there are certain flags that will happen that will cause the game to crash. Now, originally, even just getting to those glitch stages was almost impossible. But the technique that we're talking about, um, where they roll or they I don't, the, I, don't, I don't know exactly how it works, but how they use the controller allows them to like play pieces so much faster that they broke the barrier. They basically broke the barrier of Tetris and were allowed to infinitely go into as far as they possibly could. And the goal is to hit a crash. So this is basically like this kid is beating this game for the first time after I don't know how many years since the game came out. It's a, it is a kind of a legendary moment in the world of video games.